you're telling me you're about to watch the best video on YouTube and you have not clicked that like or subscribe button yet? Go ahead and do that for me so you can continue to get the best of the best. Alright, I won't keep y'all too long. Back to this amazing video. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's another Sunday, another great, amazing Sunday. Alright, so as you can see by the title of this video and maybe by the thumbnail of this video, we're gonna be doing a one year anniversary locked video. I got a lot of questions about my locks and about like how I started, when I started, all those things. And sometimes I don't be answering all those questions. And I decided why not just make a whole entire YouTube video so that you can answer them right here, right now, all the here. I wrote down some notes and some points that I wanted to touch on for this video. And first, I just wanted to say, Tomorrow makes a full year and a month of me having my locks. 13 months of me having my locks. This is what they look like. So I don't even have like shoulder length, but if you know, you know I started with very short hair. The back of my hair actually was an undercut, which is why no pieces of it are blonde. So I've been growing my locks for a year and a month now, 13 months. I started my locks for the same reason why I cut my hair in the first place. And the reason why I cut my hair was because I didn't want to deal with the maintenance. Simple put as that. And I felt like I could still look good. And I did still look good with my short hair. The same reason why I cut my hair short and why I did why I cut my hair for so long. Same reason why I grew locks. Because I did not want to deal with the whole bunch of maintenance of having natural hair. But I never not once wanted straight hair. I always wanted natural hair. I just didn't want to deal with the maintenance. And then I got locks. That's simply it. Another bonus with locks is that my hair could grow long and I could still not have to deal with as much maintenance as it would be as opposed to like you know having loose natural hair it's way less way less work with my locks and that's the way how i like it because i'm really lazy and i love even when my hair doesn't have a retwist even when my hair isn't done my hair is still done i love that and then especially watching it grow that was another reason i really love like the whole idea of it being a journey and everything like that i wish i had locks from i was born i really love locks and i really feel like they suit me so that's reason why i knew it would be good i also forgot to say in the video like how could i forget the real reason as to why i even have locks in the first place is because it was to teach myself patience and to learn to love myself in any stage and to learn to love myself no matter what that's really the main reason why i started my locks to teach myself patience and to teach myself to commit to something and actually stick to it that was another reason why i started my locks i can't believe i forgot i forgot about that reason in the video but yeah next on my list i have how i started my locks which is another question that people really ask too i know there's many different methods on how to start locks you could do coils you could do freeform or you just let your hair lock up on its own you could do two strand twists you could do interlocking you could do instant locking there's so many different ways that you could start your locks i did personally i did two strand twists and i bleached my hair before i did these two strand twists to help with the matting process yeah i did two strand twists Simply because in the past I had like one little wisdom lock and the way how I got that lock was with twisting my hair so I already had kind of some experience with how my hair locks from a twist and I just personally preferred it that way. That's exactly what I did. I did two strand twists and I'll include like some clips maybe right here of what it looked like the first day of me getting my locks installed and everything. That's basically how I started my locks. I personally did go to a hair salon to start my locks. I didn't have to do that. I just wanted to because I was lazy and I wanted it to be done quick. And also because I was bleaching my hair. I think it really depends on your hair texture, your hair pattern, your hair porosity. I think that's the word. I think it really depends on all of that of what's better for you because I know for some people doing coils is better and that really works for them. Me personally, coils would not work for me. My hair is very fine. That's not enough bonding. And then I could have done interlocking, but interlocking is really more recommended for smaller locks and I didn't want my locks to be that small because I didn't want my retwist to be 50 million days. So, and actually my mom thought that these locks are going to be too big. And I feel like these are just like the perfect size. I wouldn't want them, oh, I wouldn't want no more locks in my head or no little. I feel like this is just the perfect size. It really don't matter. No matter what type of hair you have, it's gonna lock regardless because locking is simply letting your hair mat up. You know, that whole worm look, you don't really get that worm look when you have twists as opposed to coils because you can see that it's a twist and it kind of looks like a style. The coils is normally where that worm look comes from. I can see there's definitely benefits in both getting twists and coils. But in the end, your locks will look like locks. I wanted to go to where you actually do start your like lock journey. I will say the first three months test you and test your loyalty 
to these locks. If you have a long flowing hair, probably won't really apply to you. And by long flowing, I mean like right here. These things will apply to you, but it won't piss you off as much as somebody who has shorter hair or somebody who has two inches of hair. Number one, your hair will want to unravel all the time. And you'll feel like you won't be able to wash your hair. That will drive you crazy, depending on who you are. Me personally, it drives me crazy because I was gonna wash my hair regardless. So, but please, 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 now that I'm on the topic, wash your hair when you have locks. If it's dirty, wash it. Especially in the starter stage. When you when your locks mature some more, you can wait a little bit longer. I don't, but you can wait a little bit longer. In the starting stage, wash your hair. It will help your hair met up in the end. I know it looks like you just came out of the Jerry Curl Salon after you washed your hair. I know that's what it looks like. I know it looks like you just joined the Jackson 5 with a new afro. I know that's what it looks like. But keep washing your hair. Just do a refuse after every single time you wash your hair because that will help it mat up and that keeps your scalp clean. Locks are not dirty, locks are clean. You can keep your locks clean. Please keep your locks clean, especially in the beginning stages. You do not want any fungus or bacteria building up on your scalp in the beginning stages because once it's there, it will be even harder for it to leave as the months go on because it will go on, especially if you stick to your lock journey. So please wash your hair in the beginning months. Secondly, as I said, this is more a problem when you have shorter hair, but the shape. The shape is really gonna make you mad these first three months because your hair is still loose and it still can bend and go all over these ways and it's not gonna wanna listen to you and it's just gonna be all over the place and you're not gonna like it. And for me personally, my hair was above my ears. Like, as you can see, these blonde tips, that was all I had. When I wore my bonnet to sleep, especially if your hair is short, you will have a helmet head when you wake up the next morning and that is what used to make me mad. I used to have to fluff it out, but now if I fluff out my hair, my hair is fluffing out. It's fluffing out. It does not want to be confined. When my hair was still a little bit loose, still in the starter stages, I fluffed it out. It still had a bent in it and it was bending up like that. Like that's not cute. It wasn't cute for me. I don't like it. I just sprayed a little bit of water. That really always got it out. Spraying some water, oiling your scalp, that always helped. All these problems, you will get through it. All I'm saying is just don't let it demotivate you. If you know you want these locks and you know you would love yourself with these locks, don't let these problems demotivate you because they can all be fixed. They can all be fixed. Another thing is you will feel tempted to retwist your hair all the time. Do not retwist your hair all the time. In the first six months, I want to say, you can get a retwist every month depending on how fast your hair grows and depending on all those things and depending on how mature or not your locks have gotten. Retwists will thin out your hair. It will. It's not a maybe. It's not a might be. It will thin out your hair. You will be balding. Do not let your mother, your father, your sister, your auntie, your brother, your, your uncle, your grandma, your don't let nobody tell you, oh, your hair need to go get done, nephew. Your hair need to go get done. You don't even look good. Da, 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 da. Your hair looks so messy. It don't matter. It do not matter because these are the beginning stages. Either they, got, either they stick with it or they don't. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend, don't let them tell you nothing because they won't be there when your hair is dropping out. No, they won't. They will not be there when your hair is dropping out because what, they, don't even know how to, they don't even know how to deal with locks. That's what it is. Most of the time, it'd be people talking about locks, telling you what you do with your hair, don't even know how to do a lot. Because as time moves on, you're just gonna get finer and finer and finer. And you're just gonna be like, my locks are thick and healthy and beautiful. Not thin, brittle, and breaking off. That's pretty much all the struggles, quote unquote, that I could say that I really had during my first three months. One thing I'll tell you is during that starting stage, which I consider to be the first six months, I'm telling you, just fall in love with your hair. Take them six months to love on yourself. Your hair will flourish with you. Do not try to critique yourself. Do not nitpick at yourself. Do not do those things to yourself because it is the beginning stage. People have their locks for five, 15, 10, 20, 30, 500 years. The first six months is okay, whatever. If it doesn't look like a full mature locks, they're not full mature locks. It's gonna look a little rough, it's okay. And one thing that I'll say, this is especially for the girls or the guys with looser hair texture, black people with looser hair texture. I will say one thing that I did that may be a bit taboo in the lock community. This is one thing that I did that I am recommending people to do, but you do not have to do it. And do shoot me for telling you to do it. Every every time I got a retwist, every single time I wash my hair and I got a retwist, I would take a locking needle and just run through it. And not necessarily that I'm trying to lock my hair, but just to create the mats. 
simply because like I said, that unraveling will kill you. The unraveling is crazy, especially in the back because you know what, I'm trying to sleep and I wake up and now I have an afro. I don't like that. Just a little bit, not to the point where you're instant locking, just a little bit just so that your hair knows this is where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be in this lock. You won't really see immediate results, but every single time you wash your hair, less and less hair will come out in each wash. And by like five-ish months, you should be, you shouldn't even have to do it no more. Not gonna lie. So that really helped me a lot. And it's not to skip, it's not to cheat, it's not to do any of those things. It's simply just to help my hair train itself to be matted together. Another thing I'll say for the ladies, Never, ever, ever, ever get soft locks, butterfly locks, faux locks, crochet, none of that. Don't get none of that. You do not need it. If you want to get some extension into your hair, do two strand twist extensions. Do not get soft locks. Do not. All right. I know everyone says don't, and now you feel inclined to go and do it, and you feel like you're better than them, and you feel like when you take years out, you won't cut out your hair. Yeah, I felt the same way too, and guess what? I'm still recovering from how I cut out five, six locks out of my head. Hello, five, six locks. I can show you right now. There's some locks that are still thin at the root because I snipped them straight from the root, trying to take my locks out. It is not worth it, and it is really heavy. Your head will feel suffocated. Maybe it's because of how I did it, Maybe it's because I have so many locks. I don't care. Don't do that to yourself. Now, I cannot stop you from doing whatever you want to do. You are a grown adult. I'm assuming. I'm assuming you're a grown adult. I can't stop you from what you want to do. But please listen to me. And don't do what you want to do. And do something else. Please. Because you will be suffering for 30 days and 30 nights. You will cut your hair out. You will end up having to instantly lock it back. For real this time. Not for fake and not a little bit. But all of it. And also, since I took them out, my locks have been thinner. Do not do it to yourself. I have not really done anything with my hair. I've only done like slight retwists ever since I took them out because I really feel like my hair is suffering and crying out for help. Like they feel so different ever since I took them out. And also it hurt like hell to install them. Literally it hurt like down under. Do not do it to yourself. L ladies, 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 please, no commotion. Don't do it to yourself. Cause I'm literally, I'm not. Uh, uh, don't do it to yourself. I'm, that's it. I'm not even gonna talk about that no more because literally don't do it to yourself. Enough of talking about what I went through and what you shouldn't do and how you should do whatever. I'm gonna tell you reasons why you should start your lock. If this applies to you, go go to the salon. Welcome to my salon. Oh, and get your lock started now. All right. So number one, you have coarser hair. That that's it. That's my only reason because locks literally love your hair. Your hair loves locks. Your hair loves to be locked up. I know that. That's my number one reason. If you have coarse hair, you should already be considering locks. That's all I'm gonna say. Another reason, if you do a lot of sports, if you're doing a lot all the time, if you're a really busy person, locks. Locks definitely is a great style because like I said, it can be very versatile for the ladies. You can do your hair every month. Don't get me wrong. You can do your hair every month and you can get a different style every single month with the locks, especially the more your hair grows, the more styles you can do. It is very versatile. And the best part about it is, one style lasts a month and that's your natural hair. And then for the men, your hair is already done. All you gotta do is get a haircut every two weeks. Your hair is already done. I say for busy people, people who do sports, people who do those things, it's it's great for you because you can just wake up in the morning and go about your day. Three, and I know this might be controversial to some. If you are a person who cannot make up your mind, get locks. It will make your mind up for you. I'm telling you, get locks. And I know you're thinking, but well, that's what I can't make up my mind about. Get locks, just get them. You are, just get them. And even if you do miss your hair, comb them out. It's not that hard, comb them out. You have three months, after three months, that's when it's gonna start getting a little bit hard. You have three months to really see if you can rock the style for real, if you really like the idea of locks. If you don't, comb them out, but just lock your hair. So if you're an indecisive person, if you can't choose all those things, choose locks, lock your hair, because I promise you, you will love it. You will love it, 90 day guarantee. Yeah, that's my big three reasons as to why you should get locks. And then if this video or if them last three points just convince you, you know what, might as well, if this whole entire video just convinced you, you know what, I might as well just go ahead and get them locks. I'm gonna tell you how to keep your hair healthy. First misconception is that you need to be oiling your scalp every single day. You don't need to be oiling your scalp every single day. That will cause buildup in your scalp and that buildup, like I said, you do not want buildup to be on your scalp, especially in the start of month because once it's there, it will continue to grow and it will be in your hair and now you have dandruff. And now your hair feels dead and, and, and it feels heavy and it's crazy and 
you don't want that because it is locked it is literally locked into your hair now i do recommend every other day for but for the beginning stages i do recommend like every two weeks or even every single time you get a retwist every two weeks and then what i would recommend to do every day or every other day is if you want to put some oil or some anything inside of a water bottle or a rose water bottle and spray your hair every day or every other day good yeah i definitely recommend doing that but actually taking the oil to your scalp with the nozzle don't need to be doing that every single day the less mature you are the more time you should take between oiling your scalp right now i'm as i said i'm at 13 months tomorrow tomorrow makes 13 months and i oil my scalp probably two times a week on average i don't really miss my hair anymore i don't know if that's just like a starter lock thing i don't really feel the need to miss my hair anymore i will say for the oiling the scalp part don't need to be doing every day i promise you don't need to be doing every day another thing that will keep your hair healthy is washing your hair do not fall into these rumors that you don't need to wash your hair in the starting stage you should just let it lock wash your hair do not do just wash it go in with it scrub your scalp get it clean wash your hair and then another thing i'll say is low manipulation do not manipulate your hair i personally barely ever would do actual hairstyles with my hair literally just let your hair be in the part that you have it in and let it be and even if you do do hairstyles don't use no tight ponytail holders you should be corn rowing or barrel twisting your hair every single day you should be doing too much like don't do too much so yeah hopefully this video may have convinced you to start your locks or maybe it let you know you're not cut out for this and you don't want to start your locks i know which way it goes i hope you enjoyed the video come back for more because every single sunday i'm posting a new video have fun with your locks guys